I'm Kevin Lay, and I'll be your uh, humble host here today at the beautiful uh, Hancock Family Farm uh, here at Claiborne. Um, we are in our wonderful uh, visitor center here uh, alongside uh, Lenisa, uh, our, our wonderful hostess here, and uh, uh, we will be taking you uh, on a virtual tour here today, and hopefully go out and enjoy uh, some of these wonderful stallions that we have here at the farm. Uh, we do have in-person tours going on at the moment. We may see some of them uh, along the way as well, but uh, we got some wonderful stops. We want to take you to our, our iconic uh, breeding shed here, and of course, uh, to the uh, two of our stallion barns here that house the guys. And uh, we're gonna go visit with uh, uh, our 2013 Kentucky Derby winner along the way. And then on our way back through, we'll stop and visit uh, one of possibly uh, the most historic uh, equine cemeteries uh, on any farm. I mean, there, there's some great guys there, but uh, we'll just take off and try to enjoy the day here. So. We'll get started. <laughs> Kevin, can you tell us a little bit about what you do here at the farm? I take care of three of the stallions here. And uh, also uh, alongside our stallion manager, Joe Peel, who uh, you may have caught a glimpse of coming out of the door. Uh, I, we uh, work in the breeding shed side by side there uh, through breeding season. Um, but yeah, yeah, my primary uh, job here is to take care of my three guys. I take care of Ironicus, Lee, and Blaine, and then, you know they're they're my boys. Uh, I thoroughly enjoy working with them. Yeah, they're it's not so much a job. They're almost like your backyard pet so you you really enjoy getting to be around them and uh and then as as we do tours we we enjoy being able to get them out and show them off and things of that nature and then uh you know well there are six of us that work down here we're also part-time tour guides uh so to speak you know we'll, we'll do uh we'll rotate through uh, on stallion tours and uh, it, it's really enjoyable to get to meet different people as, as they venture through and where they where they're traveling from and where they're traveling to and things of that nature but, uh, it's just it's just a wonderful wonderful place to work you know when you look around the scenery sometimes you know it, you, i don't know how to describe it you, you kind of get lost in the fog maybe because mm -hmm. you see it every day and then when we do get to show it off on the tours and someone points out something you kind of take it step backwards and you look at it again it, it's, it's really enjoyable yeah. but, uh, it's just, you know the, the hancock family they're wonderful people to work for and, you know they they've opened the doors for people to be able to come in and enjoy this experience and, uh, get to get up and get close and personal to some of these guys so it, it's, a, it's really and, then, and to see people's faces, you know, when you can tell them they can walk up and pet a, a derby winner or a uh, top stallion like Warfront, and the Breeders' Cup champion like Blaine, you know, they, 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 a lot of people are just taken back in awe that they actually get to, to experience that part of it, be hands-on in the, in, the, in the tour. So, yeah, it's truly amazing. That's great. The scenery is just unbelievable. So this building that we are approaching, this is the breeding shed here at Claiborne Farm. And we, we'll get up and uh, we'll let you take a look inside of it. But the breeding shed itself was built back in 1915. And uh, I like to tell people it's kind of sacred ground in the thoroughbred industry. Um, since its induction, uh, there have been 22 Kentucky Derby winners conceived in here, uh, 20 Preakness, 22 Belmont winners, six of the 13 Triple Crown winners were conceived right in this shed. So 
I mean, it, not a lot of places can boast those numbers. And we, we really enjoy uh, getting to go around and kind of explaining things uh, with the shed. You'll be surprised at some of the questions that come out with it, but uh, it, it's a lot of fun. But uh, I mean, it, when you look at it, it's, there's not a lot of flash to it, but it, it certainly gets the job done. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the numbers itself speak for itself, so. And, and it just kind of fits in, you know, with mm -hmm. everything else that the Hancock family does. It, 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 there's not a lot of flash to it. It, it's just normal, it's, uh, so it's, it's really exciting to, to go along. You know, the most recent, uh, our most recent Kentucky Derby winner conceived here was Big Brown uh, in 2008, a son of Boundary. So uh, to, to to actually get to work in the in the, with the stallions and in the breeding process, it's always exciting when that next mare steps in and that next stallion comes through the door, and you, you're you always wonder, you know, are you making that connection to that next big horse here. So it's, it's truly an amazing process. And I'm sure, you know, the guys and ladies that work in the polling barn, they, they feel that same excitement when that baby drops to the ground, you know, is that the next big horse, you know, that comes along. So it's a lot of fun. I mean, the, the, the wheels on the bus, they, they keep turning. You know, and, and this is the reason why you, you're, you're always searching for that next big one. But the, the next place we're going to here is our Ten Stall Stallion Barn. And uh, this barn here's got a lot of history to it as well, built back in the early 1950s. And as we venture through, you'll see a lot of history with the uh, stallion nameplates that the stallion spends his entire stallion career here his name will stay upon the stall door of the stall he stood in. And then uh, the first stall on the left, it may be the most photographed door I, I know of. It, it's floated around. <laughs> if you get on the internet and you uh, search secretary, you'll definitely find it. it it'll, it'll pop up for you. So. And then a lot of wonderful guys, uh, along with him, have been in here as well. saying uh, a lot of history here if the stallion spends his uh, entire stallion career his name must stay upon the stall door when you look at this door I mean it, it's second to none you had the 1957 Preakness Stakes winner and bold ruler 1972 73 horse of the year uh, triple crown winner in 73 and secretariat the 1988 champion two-year-old horse 1989 Belmont Stakes winner the easy door the 1990 Kentucky Derby and Breeders' Cup Classic winner and unbridled. And uh, Mr. Run Happy, he now occupies the, the stall. Uh, when we look at the door, it's a top play to tell you who currently resides in the stall. Um, so, uh, Mr. Run Happy, he, he's one of our fan favorites here on the tour. And then just right across the way here, uh, you have another pretty nice door. You got round table. Uh, who was the world's largest money winner back in the late 50s, early 60s. Had 66 starts on the racetrack with 44 victories. Um, he was just the third thoroughbred that eclipsed a million dollar mark while racing on the racetrack. And then if you go on up, you'll see Pulpit's nameplate. Um, Pulpit is the sire of uh, Tappet, who is one of the world's top stallions. Uh, alongside, he also the sire of a horse by the name of Lucky Pulpit who happened to sire California Peroni, who was the world's largest money winner. And he himself uh, got to carry the farm colors in the Kentucky Derby and managed the fourth place finish. So, uh, he was one of the farm's true loves here. Very handsome horse, everybody loved Colton. And then of course, uh, Ward, uh, the 2013 Kentucky Derby winner. He now occupies the stall. And we're actually going to get him out and kind of Show him off to you here uh, briefly. 
see how uh, how he's doing today, and he'll be coming out here in a little bit on his second tour as well. So this is one of our, our pride and joys here at Claiborne Farm. This young man here, his name is Orr, and he is the 10 year old son of Malibu Moon. He's out of an unbridled mare. Her name is Lady Liberty. This guy um, was born and raised here on Claiborne Farm uh, for two of our clients, Mr. Uh, Stuart Denny and the fifth family. He went on to race for those connections where he had 12 starts with five wins. Uh, in 2013, he won the Florida Derby, he won the Fountain of Youth, he then went on to win the Kentucky Derby, he was fourth in the Preakness, third in the Belmont State. He retired uh, in November of 2013, entering stallion duties here in 2014. Uh, his primary job now, of course, is breeding. Uh, we're hoping uh, eventually he can duplicate himself. Very handsome guy. He's kind of a um, prototypical of what you think a thoroughbred stallion should look like very handsome very masculine very correct guy he's got uh, and then uh, of course uh, the other part of his job is us bringing him out and showing him off on tour groups and I, as I was telling you earlier when people get to come up and pet him on the shoulder and take a picture with him they, they, they're a little bit starstruck by him so. but uh, he, he's, he's a fairly fairly good boy to get along with he, just like all stallions, he can have his moments, a little, little attitude, or my wife would say, he's like most men, they, they have their little moments, so, but uh, he is a pretty good, pretty good boy uh, to be around. And then they're they're all a little spoiled. They they all get uh, they're they all are peppermint broken here as well. We we kind of spoil them a little bit. If you want to do a close up, so you can. Try that again. And we and sometimes we do share that luxury. Uh, on our tours as well, we allow uh, some of our guests to, to feed the peppermint, uh, to feed some of the guys that we know that are behave and do it. So. But uh, we'll sneak him in and we'll continue on. We'll go on right. through and browse through with some of the other guys here. Kevin, do you have a most asked question you get about the stallions from people on the tour? We get a lot of questions. <laughs> uh, you know what? One of them, one of our most asked questions for each guy is, do we have a favorite? And, uh, you know, we, we love them all. Uh, all three of my guys, like I say, they're, I try to treat them just like I do my two sons at home. And, you behave, everything goes well. Uh, if you're misbehaving, then things get taken away from you. But uh, uh, yeah, my, as far as for myself, Blame is is, is my boy. He, he's, he, I guess he would be my favorite uh, here at the farm. And then, uh, as I was telling you, they all are spoiled. Uh, as you can tell, he, he started begging. He, he, 
he knows how to work the tours for candy. And, uh, and as we come through, we'll all pop him one, give him a little mint along the way. The flatter happens to be our oldest active stallion at the age of 21. So. And then, you know, just like anywhere else, the, the scenery is always changing. We always, you know, we're always hoping to get new guys in to Marshall A. Uh, he's one uh, that we just, uh, this was his first breeding season here at the farm. He's a very handsome little young man here. Uh, we got a lot of high hopes for him. Uh, son of the bye week, and we, we're just uh, excited to, to always get new prospects. And then our other new one is Catholic Boy. Um, so, and it doesn't take them long to figure out the whole peppermint game. And, and the tools. Look through the aisleways here. Uh, you'll see several plates, and, and then with it uh, coming along, you'll see Nijinsky. Uh, Nijinsky in 1986, he had a son by the name of Ferdinand who won the Kentucky Derby. So I mean, we've got Derby winners, but we also have sires of Derby winners, or have had sires of Derby winners here at the farm. And then uh, when you look out. Each guy has their own individual paddock. Some of the paddocks that some of these that have been in on some of these uh, horses that have been in on some of these paddocks has just been phenomenal. Uh, I mean, this first paddock straight ahead, uh, this was Secretariat's paddock where he was turned out for 16 years here. And then you also had uh, Easy Goer and Unbridled Pulpit on it. Um, it is now Catholic Boys. But at one time you had Secretariat here and then directly behind him you had Spectacular Bid. I mean, so that just uh, some of the stallions that the, the Hancock family stood here has just been unbelievable. And not only, you know, in for breeding stallions here uh, at Cleveland Farm, but uh, the, the broodmare ground uh, back through the back. I mean, when you, when you think about the farm itself, and, you know, there, there have been 10 Kentucky Derby winners born or raised here on Claiborne Farm, starting as far back as 1930 uh, with Gallant Fox, and uh, as most recent as 2013 with um, Orb. And so, I mean, the, the, you, you're, you love the past, but you're always looking towards the future as well. We're, we're just, as guys working here, we're, we're hoping we can kind of continue the tradition that some of our, our forefathers and, uh, have laid down for us here. It's, it's really exciting to be, just to be a part of it, uh, really. Yeah. And then this is our six stall stallion barn. This is kind of the, uh, the uh, farm's logo, if you will. When you, when you see the barn logo on some of their, their stuff, this is the barn that it, that kind of, that uh, resembles that. But this barn here was built back in the early 1930s. And again, you can go down uh, like Boyan II um, in 1941, his son won the Kentucky Derby and then went on to win, to finish that out with the win in the Triple Crown. And then on down, you got Mr. Prospector's nameplate. He, uh, he may be one of the most influential uh, North American uh, thoroughbred stallions of all time, siring 41 grade one or group one stakes winner. Uh, his son in uh, 2000, and Fusiaki Pegasus won the Kentucky Derby. And then, uh, th so I mean, the, the tradition, the, the history through these barns have just been unbelievable. And then you got Boundary, uh, Big Brown Sire, the winner in, uh, of the Derby in 2008. You have Naz Rula, the sire of Bold Ruler. Uh, so this is Secretariat's grandsire on his sire side, he stood here. The next door you have Prince Quillo. Uh, Prince Quillo is the sire of Round Table, who was the world's largest money winner. As we saw his flag down in the 10 stall, he's also the sire of the mayor of something royal, who was Secretariat's mother. So 
both the secretary's grandfather stood right here in the six tall bed. And then, you know, not to try to overlook the ladies, but when you come on down and you look at reviewers, um, reviewers desire perhaps one of the greatest fillies to ever step on the racetrack, a filly by the name of Ruffy. So, uh, I mean, there's been some awesome ladies uh, that have stood on the ground back through there. I mean, you can look at Twerda and Moccasin and Relaxing, uh, three generations of Breeders' Cup champions and um, personal engine, my flag, storm flag flying. I mean, it, 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 it's not all just congregated right here to the stallion department. You, you know, it, it takes the whole process to, to succeed. Here. Yeah. But uh, we have one more stop uh, we'd like to go to. Um, we're going to take you, as we said, uh, to one of our uh, uh, iconic uh equine cemeteries down here a lot of wonderful guys buried in the cemetery down here by the office and, uh, we'll go down and visit with it and, uh, as you can see uh, we do uh, we do in-person tours and uh, it, it's really really great to get to get out and uh, be able to show the, the farm and the horses off and uh, get to meet the people so pleasantly quiet today. It is. Kevin, how long have you been out here at the farm? I actually grew up in my, my father, my grandfather handled stallions here for almost 18 years. Uh, my father started working here as well when I was in the fourth grade. And then I started working with uh, horses here uh, December 7th of 93. Uh, uh, the first horse I actually started in a barren mare barn uh, at Claiborne 34. And the first horse I ever got to lay hands on was a mare called Relaxing, who was Easy Gore's mother. And at that point I was bitten by the bug. Uh, I worked here. Uh, for some reason I got a wild hair, thought I wanted to change jobs. I left here in uh, October of 2003, or I'm sorry, 2004, and uh, uh, I came back. Uh, I came back to the office, and I was like, "Please, can I have my job back?" <laughs> I went to a factory. I found out real quick the factory life wasn't for me. I, I'm just a country boy, you know. I, I, the, the 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 Claiborne Gold uh, it runs through my veins, and uh, I uh, came back uh, in uh, July of 2007, and um, the uh, I came back in the yearling department, and then in December of 2007, the opportunity to come back to the stallions uh, uh, opened up, and I've been down here since. And, it's, and I, I'm not leaving. It's, they'll have to run me out just <laughs> next time. I, I, I do thoroughly enjoy my job, my co co-workers here. Uh, everybody's family, you know, I went to a factory, um, I don't know how many total employees that were in it, but I knew five people in two years, and here, you know, we got right at 90 full-time employees, and uh, just about named me every one of them. Uh, I mean, outside of my division in the broodmares, uh, yearlings, uh, the office staff, you know, I, I know just about everyone by name here, so it, it, it's it's more so a family uh, atmosphere here. Everybody pitches in and works with one another. So I, I thoroughly enjoy this, that part of the job. Hmm. This is, uh, like I say, this is one of uh, two cemeteries that we have here on the farm. And this is the original one. Uh, we have 22 horses buried in here. Uh, just some, some great guys. One of our, our pride and joys, like I was telling you, in 1984, my father started here and Swell, what a year for him to start. Swell uh, turned out to be the farm's first in, uh, Kentucky Derby winner. Uh, he won the Florida Derby, he won the Kentucky Derby, was seventh in the Preakness, came back, won the Belmont Stakes. Uh, and just uh, 
everybody was on top of the world here at the time. And then, of course, the, one of the, the main attractants uh, here to Bourbon County, still after all these years, um, the great secretary. And just just phenomenal uh, athlete, you know, just uh, maybe kind of the standard that everybody kind of sits horse racing by now. And then, of course, uh, with him, we have Gallon Fox on the back row. Gallon Fox won the Triple Crown in 1930. He is the only Triple Crown winner uh, to sire a Triple Crown winner in a horse by the name of Omaha, who won the Triple Crown in 1935. And then you got, beside him, you got the 1939 Kentucky Derby winner in Johnstown. And then to his right, you got the World Away sire in Blenheim. Uh, both the Secretariat's grandsires and Naz Ruler, Prince Quillo, his sires right down the line and Bold Ruler. So, I mean, it's almost a who's who of thoroughbred racing in here. And then on this other row, you got Ruffian Sire Reviewer. Uh, you got Reaver Ridge, the 1972 Kentucky Derby and Belmont Stakes winner. Nizinski, the sire of uh, Ferdinand, the 1986 Kentucky Derby winner. Mr. Prospector, uh, food page, sire, uh, it just, the list goes on. And then it doesn't end here. Uh, the big cemetery over, everything goes there in Marshmont now. And when you step through the gates back there, not all the stallions are buried on the left-hand side and all the ladies are on the right-hand side. And, you know, you got unbridled back there. Uh, you got Danzy, you got Devil's Bag, um, private account, private terms, survivor, Damascus, Arch, uh, there's a lot of great stallions back there on the left hand side and then all the ladies They're all on the right hand side. So um, You know it Comes a point you know the Hancock family feels that uh, The horse is taking care of us and it's our turn to kind of return that favor and take care of the horse So It's nice to see them give them a, a burial spot but, uh, uh, You have anything else that I, I hope you guys great. enjoyed uh, um, getting to walk through the farm. I, I know it's uh, it's kind of a brief uh, tour, but uh, uh, hopefully one day you'll kind of get to come out if you haven't been already uh, to join us here on a on a in person tour. Um, hopefully you'll get to schedule that in and come out and see us. But uh, until then, uh, have a great day, and I hope everybody's safe. Thank, Thank you, you, Kevin.